Hello everyone, welcome back. Praise God we are together again. I hope you all are doing well and blessed in the Lord. Uh, yes, you are seeing the blue suit. <laughs> For, for some of you, you know um, what this reference is uh, to, and I actually do have a playlist on this channel that the Lord has uh, pressed on to me, different messages, uh, but when the Lord speaks to me about the Antichrist spirit, most of the time, once he, he showed me something, actually twice, he showed me something different, he showed me a black hoodied individual, and I know that that was like the the real true antichrist spirit how he how he is but um this is the one he portrays as you know clean cut pulled together uh, but he sh but the lord shows me him in this blue suit i sorry to digress <laughs> anyway i pray that you all are doing well and blessed in the lord and that uh, i thank you and i thank um god for you um we were put together in this time, and I'm just so blessed by uh, you spending a little time with me to share this message, and to also, we are supposed to be awake and aware, amen? And so I'm so grateful that the Lord has put this message in front of me, and He actually gave me a confirmation, and that's what I'm going to show first, uh, because it's literally, and I know people throw that word around, but this is actual, literally, words from Revelation 13 17 I don't even know if this individual knows he is speaking biblically and the and he actually is putting personal reflections into his um, speech uh, where I have to put him in the category of an Antichrist spirit oh my apologies so we're gonna go over that but before we dive into it too deeply I would like to um, read from 2nd Samuel uh, 22 3 and 4 so we can put a hedge of protection around us while we um, while we're learning what the Lord is showing us so we know we can identify and know these enemies that are out there and this Antichrist spirit that dwells within these individuals. So uh, uh, I want to get right to it. So we're going to go to Second Samuel. Okay. My God is my rock in him excuse me in whom I take refuge my shield and the horn of my salvation he is my stronghold my refuge and my savior from violent people you save me I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, amen, and have been saved from my enemies. Second Samuel 22, 3 and 4. Praise God. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go right to this video, and um, I apologize if the sound is wonky. I'm going to try to work with it. I'm only going to show about 60 seconds, like a minute. Um, I'm not going to say who his name is. I'm not, uh, uh, I, if you want to know, we can discuss it in the comments. Um, only because I don't want this video to be censored. I have been censored in the past, and I can even tell you which one um, in comments because <laughs> I don't want it to happen again. But uh, they actually muted my voice while I was talking. I kid you not. So the video, it just sounds like I lost my audio, but I was speaking just like I'm speaking to you now. They just didn't want you to hear what I had to say. So um, that's why I wanted to say this prayer, and then I'm going to be careful with my words. Um, so this individual is on television. He's If you watch this channel, which I don't, uh, he's widely known. He's got his own show. And... Um, 
If you don't know who he is, that's fine. But we need to, when they tell us who they are, we have to believe them. And I believe that this person is letting us know in plain English from the words of the Bible who he is. And we must believe him. So let's get to it. Um, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people are not going to agree with this, but um, don't get the vaccine. You can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine. You don't show it. Can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine. Can't go to work. You don't have the vaccine. Can't come here. No shirt. No shoes. No service. That's what I think we should be right now, because we continue to waste our breath on people who are just not going to change. They're okay. All right. Um, I'm going to change the screen. Okay. Revelation thirteen seventeen through 18 King James Version and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six I'm not passing any judgment <laughs> but he spoke the words and the sense in the reference of the jab and his feelings, his personal feelings, he put out there saying that this is how he felt and this, and he felt that um, the ones who have not, which I am included, um, they have exhausted all um, gentle measures, I'm being really careful, uh, to convince us this is a good idea. And now he's saying it needs to be a little harsher and more radical. But really, all I heard was the Bible, the words from the Bible becoming, manifesting, true, as we already know. Amen? So we have to see this Antichrist spirit for what it is, even though it's someone we might see on TV. You know, uh, uh, a familiar face. I was shocked to hear this person utter these words with no remorse, no sense of hesitation, or sense of, um, um, you know, like, like a, a compulsion, like he's begging, please, people, like he really cared. It was more of this sharp blade. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put my opinion on it. Sorry, I did. Um, but it felt. It just felt very. It wasn't a script he was reading. This was. This was his opinion, and so I believe that this individual could have an antichrist spirit. He was also wearing the blue suit. <laughs> but I digress. Sorry, the blue suit just. Oh, when I see it, I just want to turn and run. It's like, oh no. Okay. So when the Lord showed me this individual just yesterday, I knew it was time to get this video out because there's another Antichrist spirit that he, the Lord has given me with confirmation on this individual. I'm taking a very long time, I apologize. But th this other Antichrist spirit um, with this individual, and it's very specific, the confirmation that the Lord gave me. And I also have to be very gentle with my words because this is a well-known person it won't be surprising but he's also from a very famous family and um, same thing we're we're known by our fruits that's the Bible and I think this individual uh, is making his fruits well known so let's get to it let's get to it okay so I'm trying to think 
of how I can say this person's name. I think I can just say his first name. And I'll show a picture of his father, just in case you're not familiar. But this is a uh, hunter. And the Lord showed me, and I actually shared it, and I know this is going to sound far-fetched, but this is where the censorship comes in. I have been looking for this video, and if you've been on this channel for a little while, um, I did a video talking about hellhounds which is a very hard subject. It was a vision that I received showing the wor world in despair and dismay and fire and there was instead of hellhounds of you know like the dogs, the, the wolves, you know, ravenous, um, forgive me it's awful, uh, it was people. They were being controlled but they were devouring and destroying everything in their sights but they were being controlled by this antichrist spirit and um, in my vision and no one really knew it um, someone came in which was the antichrist spirit and stopped it all and uh, at the end of that vision I saw an individual standing on a high balcony next to the false prophet. They were waving, by the way this is the father um, of the individual that I just showed you. But in my vision I saw this, this uh, antichrist spirit, the antichrist spirit, not the person, not the antichrist. The Antichrist spirit standing next to the false prophet on this balcony. And I went, it was like I was seeing, I wasn't involved. I stood behind these two individuals and I could see the crowd. And no one was wearing masks and they were celebrating that this victory, that the hellhounds were calmed down, that the world was saved. Because they were looking for a person to save them not God to save them. They, you know, um, God wants us to come to him. Bent knee, hands praise, face down, prone on the ground, um, at our most vulnerable, worship and praise and love only him. And these people in this vision were praising and worshiping these two individuals, which is troubling. But what caught my attention in the vision was this, I, I mentioned um, a gaudy ring he was wearing. It was like a diamond or some kind of stone, but it was really awful. It was like, a, I think it was clear in what I was seeing in the vision, but it was huge and just, and it was like, why is this person wearing this really gaudy, ugly ring, you know, and I think the Lord made it so horrendous in my vision, so ugly and huge, um, to get my attention. Okay, so the person that you're seeing now on the left is the leader of America. And the person on the right is the leader of the Vatican. Um... I don't know their relationship, I don't know their friendship, I don't know, but he's wearing a blue suit. <laughs> I'm kidding. But he is, he is wearing a blue suit. And they're standing on the balcony. But the individual that I saw had this stone, this ring. Now let's go back to the other photo I was sharing. It has been revealed to us that this person, um, well his fruits are being put out there for the world to see and he's it's ugly i won't go into it um, but a device that he left at a um fixed uh, repair shop that he never collected and he did sign for the repair he never paid for the repair or collected the item but it had um, 
it showed it revealed who he was and that okay I, I, sorry I'm going really long and I didn't want to go very long on this but to explain the Antichrist spirit they're vain they want people to know what they've done they want their fruits to be out there they're very and and that's what I've seen before they they can't wait this Antichrist spirit can't wait uh, to to have the world worship them and love them the Antichrist himself feels the same way as the, the spirit with them it's like it's like us with the Holy Ghost within us we can feel God's love and we just we want to emanate God's love well they want to emanate this vanity um, they want the world to see how horrible they really are how how maniacal how smart they think they are and this individual also I feel wants the world to know his fruits uh, but I'll leave it there uh, but one of his endeavors was with and this is where I really have to be careful I found his one of his financial endeavors was with an individual from another country and I think some of you have heard of the story where he asked for an office with with other offices made available I believe to his stepmother one of them and to another individual I can't name him but I can show his photograph one second this individual which I believe from what I did in my research is now a missing person I don't know if anyone has actually seen him in a while but he asked for this individual to have an office in the same vicinity and I believe he called him his mate um, but anyway I guess at a dinner this individual gave the other person the Antichrist spirit a stone and I believe from my research this is a photograph of the stone it might not be I don't know I wasn't there but for some reason the Antichrist spirit was presented by that individual um, once their business dealings were complete with a stone and the Antichrist spirit actually was took pause and he said wow why would you give me a stone and he was really surprised he said I don't know if I want that and in the article that I read stated he said that he gave this stone away but I don't believe that to be true because in another article that I read his former wife his first wife in their divorce decree asked for this particular stone as part of her settlement for the divorce and the Antichrist spirit cannot give away something he does not own so that's the only way she can ask for something from him so he must have kept it okay so I'm just but I don't know like I said I'm not there <laughs> I don't know these people but how would I know unless it was the Lord pressing on to me a reason there's a reason for this and this person has been in the news but like a ghost is he there is he not like a phantom like like a, a, a lingering smell you can't it's not tangible but you have a sense it's there for some reason he, this person is hiding in the shadows and I don't know what is in store for him going forward um, they even said something about art he's doing art I don't know like I said I don't know this person but for some reason the Lord is pressing on to me with such importance I've just got the chills such importance to share this with you that to identify this is an Antichrist spirit and the Lord has already showed me a vision of this this stone this ring and I think he made it 
uh, outrageous in my vision to make sure I, I s focused on the stone. And then sure enough, this person was given a stone in a business transaction I was nowhere near. There's no way I could have known unless I read it. So it was all God. So I, what I'm bringing to you are two examples. And I'm going to let you go because <laughs> it's, it's already past 20 minutes. And I thank you. I thank you for your time. I do. Um, we'll pray and we'll pray going out. Um, but the Lord has showed me this individual as an antichrist spirit. And he has, he has confirmed that with the vision and the stone where I saw him on the balcony with a false prophet. And it was strange because I saw the ring of the false prophet as well. But it was like, well, he always has a ring. They, they always give them a ring. So why did this antichrist spirit have a ring as well? It was, it was, it, that's what I'm, the, the thoughts were going through my mind as the vision was going on. Why well, they both had a ring. And the one that I showed you in the picture, his father, this individual's father, and so you see he's in the blue suit. <laughs> Sorry, it's the blue suit. Anyway, but the father in the blue suit was on the balcony with the false prophet. It's the Antichrist spirit within them. That's all I'm speaking on. Because I can't know of anything else. I don't know of anything. Is what the Lord has pressed onto me and poured into me. Because I am a vessel for God. And I have cleared this vessel of myself. So that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit can pour into me. This information so I can share it to you. But we have to be awake and aware more than anything. In these days... Oh, because, sorry, the first Antichrist spirit I showed you in the beginning of the television personality, and I pray this, this, this video gets out there, um, because he was speaking from the Bible. That was the second confirmation. So two confirmations and two Antichrist spirits in one. <laughs> one. Uh, so I hope you're sitting. I hope you took breaks and rested, stretched, got, got hydrated. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry. Get serious. But, but these two individuals, one is a television personality, and he's speaking biblically, whether he knows it or not, that we are going to have these trials. He's saying we deserve these trials because they're tired of being nice to us about this, the jab. And then this individual who, uh, ooh, we need to pray. We need to pray for both of them. But this one definitely needs a prayer. He's, he's yucky, and I, I'll leave it there. But um, he keeps showing himself. He was just last week on television doing, showing his fruits again. And he's, he's not ashamed of his fruits, nor is his father um, providing care because I believe his father also has an Antichrist spirit within him as well. And that's, that's what the Lord has pressed on to me. But um, the, two, the two people I'm really going over are this person and the first person. Okay. Let's pray, because I, I want him off the screen. <laughs> He's got to go. Okay, we're in John sixteen thirty three. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world. Amen. I have shared you, shared with you today these things that the Lord has pressed onto me. I I felt these waves of love that we're we're talking about these things now, and we can discuss them and learn because our enemy is out there and he's getting bolder and brazen I, I showed that to you already I didn't even go into the son of the leader of America um, 
because it's disgusting I have to say my personal opinion and also as a mother and as a um, as a caregiver he needs a hug <laughs> he needs Jesus he needs God to step into his life and remove the demons within I'm gonna say it something inside of him is not right and God can make it right so that's my prayer for him for both of them for both of them that God steps into their life and makes them right while there's time and I pray that all of you feel the love of God within you and around you before you behind you above you and below you surrounded by his mercy and grace okay I've taken so much of your time this is a longer one didn't make plan on it being longer but um, I appreciate your effort or your attention and and the time that you have uh, given to watch this um, if you have any questions comments please leave them below I'd love to chat with you it's my apologies as well as um, uh, anything to share uh, anything uh, you know we can fellowship in comments below I love you so much and that's why I want I, I share this with you knowledge is power and that that's what we were taught and told please stay awake and aware and watching God loves you and so do I please take care and God bless and keep you and your family. Until next time, take care.